Relational operators are used to compare two values. In C programming, we are given six relational operators that we can use extensively in our programs. Greater than, less than, greater than equals to, less than equals to, equals to equals to for comparing the equality of two values and not equals to. I'll show you some fundamental conception on these operators and also how they works with some programming example. All of these operators works pretty much in the same way. They compare the operands and returns either true or false in terms of 1 or 0. All the relational operators works on the same principle. They compare the values and returns either 1 or 0. 1 is returned if the comparison is true and 0 is returned if the comparison is false. That means if I have a statement something like this, say i is an integer variable and we have written 10 greater than 5. Now what's the value of i after this operation? Since 10 is really indeed greater than 5, so the greater than operator is going to compare them and going to find that yes 10 is greater than 5. So it's going to return 1 in this case. So the value of i is going to be 1 after this particular operation. Now instead of 5 if we had written 50 here now the case is different now the greater than operator finds that the left hand side is not greater than the right hand side so it's going to return 0 so i is going to contain 0 after this operation let me give you some other example say we have a variable uh, a that's initialized with 50 and b that is initialized with 100 and i am having some other variable i and i am doing something like this i is equal to a equals to equals to b now this equals to equals to operator test whether the operands on both sides are equal or not. If they are equal, they it returns 1. If they are not equal, it returns 0. Now in this case, a is 50 and b is 100. So equals to equals to fails. So the value of i is going to be 0 because in this case, it returns equality operator returns 0. Otherwise, had we initialized a with 100, then equals to equals to would return 1 in that case. So in that case, i would be one now don't confuse between this assignment operator and equal equality operator this assignment operator assigns the right hand operand to the content as the content of the left hand operand this is assignment but here equals to equals to is the comparison operator they it test the equality of the operands if the operands are equal then it returns one otherwise it returns zero in this programming example, we have declared three variables a, b and i all of type int. a is assigned with 100, b is 20 and then we are comparing a with b by using the greater than operator. Then we are assigning the result of this comparison in variable i. So a is 100 and b is 20. So obviously 100 greater than 20 that's true. So, assign, so the greater than operator is going to return 1 and the printf is going to print value 1 for i. So here I'm executing the program and showing you the result. Here you can see that i is 1. Let me just change the program a bit and show you the result for the equality operator. Now I'm comparing a and b for the equality. So the comparison, the equality comparison is going to fail in this case because 100 is not equals to 200. So equality is going to fail. So the value for i is going to be 0. I'm executing the program here i is 0 again I'm changing the value for a to 200 and I'm executing the program in this case the equality operator is going to return 1 because a and b are equal so it's 1 I'm just writing not is equal to here and not is equal to returns true that means 1 if the values are not equals can you guess what it is going to return right now because the not equals is false it's going to return 0 so if they are indeed not, not equal say I am assigning B with 202 and A is 200 in this case A indeed not equals to B so this is true and it's going to return 1 so the value of I is going to be 1 in this case here it is it's 1 